Welcome Victoria and Ellen from Wildfire. Thanks for having us. It's great. Hey, so you've come into the country recently from your current base, which is where? Uh, yep, so we arrived on the 10th from Silicon Valley. We're living in Menlo Park, which is just um, 20 minutes south of San Francisco, so right in the heart of all the tech stuff that's happening in the States. Great. So what is Wildfire? Uh, you want to take that? So Wildfire is a technology platform where companies, small and big, can launch interactive promotions such as sweepstakes, video contests, coupon giveaways, etc. on the social web. And the advantage of launching it on our platform is that you can tap into all the viral features that the social web offers. So Facebook provides news feeds, uh, like friend invites, and numerous other social features uh, where your promotion can spread virally uh, through the web. So I've just seen an article recently about you doing a lot of work with Facebook. So there's some news you were going to uh, let us know about, I think. Uh, yeah, so actually the day before we flew out, we got the final word on a contest that we had entered. It was called the FB Fund, mm -hmm. um, which was a contest uh, set up by Facebook and two venture capital firms in the Valley um, to try to propagate and, and support uh, interesting new applications for Facebook. Um, and we applied back in August and had to go through several rounds. So we knew we were one of 25 finalists, but uh, on the 9th, of December they announced the final five and we were lucky to be among the final five. What exactly does that mean? Uh, so um, perhaps best of all it gives us a cash grant um, of uh, almost 450 New Zealand dollars, 450,000. That sounds a lot better. <laughs> 450 wouldn't go far. Um, but beyond that, and, and that could in the long run be even, even better for us, just we get the support of Facebook. Facebook's really going to be behind us now. They've decided that we're one of the key applications that they want to support on their platform. So okay. we're getting the resources of Facebook and also the, advi the advice and resources of two top venture capital firms. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, it was a it was a big thrill. And you know, we we already knew that we were on to we believe a really great idea and a really interesting tool, but it's great to get that kind of validation from Facebook mm. themselves. Um, yep. And in fact, so what we have is a business tool, uh, a business application, which is unusual for Facebook because most applications are focused on consumers. Um, and Facebook themselves have used our application um, several times to run contests and uh, video contests and photo contests, so that's also been a great validation as well. Well, validation is a big word there. You've certainly got yourself right in the middle of the sweet spot of the social networking space. I think so, yeah. So I think we've got ourselves in an interesting spot. That mm -hmm. it, Just stepping back to what I said, that this whole uh, social networking buzz started, you know, it grew so quickly. So mm -hmm. I think Facebook's only three years old and it's already one of the third most popular website on the web. So that's developed really quickly. And then they opened their platform and the whole application thing grew really quickly. And everybody went out and created these interesting little fun tools for consumers to entertain themselves. But somehow along the way, everybody forgot about businesses and how businesses might use applications on Facebook, yeah. how businesses might uh, interact with consumers. So I think we found ourselves a sweet spot by getting in fairly early in terms of how might we create technologies that help businesses take advantage of social networks. Mm. And, um, you know, we, we launched our first test application, so a very rudimentary form of what we have now, um, within three weeks or a month of Facebook opening up their pages for businesses. Um, and we're definitely first to market with that. So, yeah, we had a first mover advantage and found a good little space. So everybody talks about focusing on one thing at some point in time to make it a real success. You've obviously, you're not a one-hit wonder. You've had a few other ventures, and I think you mentioned some before. So, so tell us, what's your entrepreneurial journey? How have you got here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so um, in 2001, we were actually both working for investment banks in New York. Um, and... Uh, enjoyed it because it was a good learning experience, but it definitely wasn't a, a long-term career prospect. Um, the corporate world was not for us. So we were really looking for, to be honest, probably a way out and a lifestyle change. And uh, we both have a, a strong passion for the outdoors and sports. We love to snowboard and surf. And so we actually started an adventure travel company, moved, home, moved from New York to Wanaka and uh, set up our first trip. So that was a real <laughs> shock, a good wow. one. Wow. Um, two weeks before September 11th, so we had good timing to leave New York City at that time. Um, and again, that was a, a sort of a, a case of 
uh, let's start this one little trip and we'll take a year off and we'll build it up and then we'll put someone in to run it and then we'll go back and find some jobs, some other jobs, real jobs. And uh, loved it, just love what we're doing and again had great feedback from people and so then we started a trip in Switzerland and then we started a trip in Morocco and um, just built it up from there. Um, so that was the first step into entrepreneurship and I, I honestly think once you've Try being an entrepreneur once you, you can't get you can't out. Can't go back. Told. Yeah. So let's go back to your New Zealand roots. So you you started off in Bulls and and you're from Switzerland. Yes, correct. Okay. So starting from Bulls and ending up in Silicon Valley, going through investment <coughs> banks. What what was your journey around the world and what does New Zealand mean to you now? <laughs> um, it means everything. So I've been out of New Zealand. Well, back and forth between New Zealand for a while now, but it is still very much home. Whenever I fly into New Zealand, like it's a a sigh of relief, it just feels so great to be here. And certainly um, the schooling that I had and the upbringing I had, I think is really unique. Um, so I grew up on a farm, supportive community, great parents, really supportive school. Um, I think that gave me a confidence and a sense of being able to try things out and take risks and, and you know, achieve what I want to achieve. I, I got that from my upbringing and schooling in New Zealand for sure. Yeah, that's and in your path? Right? Yeah, my path was a, was a bit different. Like, I, I used to be a professional snowboarder, and so that uh, got me out of Switzerland. I, I toured the world on the snowboard, and, uh, and then I, I stayed a lot in the States to, for competitions, and, and that's how I got into the States. I went to college in the States afterwards, and, and, uh, and then going to university in Silicon Valley is just that got me into tech, uh, finally, so. Yeah. It's pretty exciting to have, I think, you back here in New Zealand for a while, like just this conversation and a few I think you've had in the last day, it's great for a lot of local entrepreneurs. So do you, do you see yourself building the business up in Silicon Valley, doing something in New Zealand in the future? Does New Zealand play a part in the business model? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> it, it's, sorry, I should answer that. Um, I would love to think that I make it back to New Zealand at some point. Right now, what we're doing Silicon Valley is absolutely the best place for us to be. Um, I mean, we're, we're living 10 minutes away from Facebook offices, and that has been a huge plus for us. So sure. I think for now, as we're growing our business, um, we need to be where we're based there. But one thing we've learned through all of our companies is that you can run a company as a real global network. So both the travel company and this business now, we have part of our team in Estonia, part of the team in Finland, part of the team in New Zealand. We have some great developers here in New Zealand working for us. And we connect over online tools, um, we connect over Skype. So there's definitely the potential, even if we have a business that's global, that's focused on the US, to run it out, out of New Zealand. Um, Fantastic. I'd like to think that that's possible at some point. Yeah. And, and frankly, I think we probably see ourselves as being serial entrepreneurs. Um, so who knows, maybe the next idea is needs to be run out of New Zealand and, and that'll bring us home.